Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be this green, kind of a smoky, sexy eye tutorial. And it was requested by one of my followers on Twitter. So thank you so much. I'm gonna be using the Shawnee Cosmetics, the Masterpiece, Masterpiece Seven Layers All-in-One Makeup Set. And I love this because um, you pretty much can do your whole face using this kit. All you need is probably, um, I don't know, a primer or your foundation. I think pretty much just your foundation was all I was missing, foundation and mascara. So as you can see, there's tons of layers of eyeshadows and they are grouped by color. And since I'm gonna be doing a green eye tutorial, I'm gonna be using the green layer. And then I did have pops of gold and yellow. So I did wanted to make sure that I picked a layer that had um, a nice goldy, frosty eyeshadow. And then of course I have um, lips. So I did use, of course, a nudie pink, which is gorgeous. I love the shade, so I mixed those two together. Then um, I needed some concealer to brighten up my face, and that was the best match, so I'm gonna use that layer as well. And then, of course, contouring, and then also color to my cheeks. So I used those two colors there. So let's get started on the eyes. First, I'm gonna use this really highly pigmented green eyeshadow. I love these eyeshadows. I think the difference between these guys and other brands is probably the fact that they're made with mineral oil and aloe vera, so that's interesting. I mean, it's really important to know what is in your cosmetics because you are putting it on your face next to your eyes. My eyes are red and it's because I have allergies and that's why I had to do a voiceover because I kept sneezing up a storm. So you're gonna blend that um, onto your lid no further than the crease because this can get really out of control especially when using darker colors like green Then taking a fluffy blending brush I'm going to take this peach color and mix it with a darker peach color and put that right into the crease And this is going to help fade it into your highlighting area Next, taking a fluffy tapered brush, I'm taking a light pink. I didn't want to use white because I thought that would be a little bit too harsh, but dusting that right on top of the peach color into our highlighting area to soften it up and brighten up the brow bone. Next, I'm gonna be picking up this grayish kind of a green um, color. I'm not too sure how to describe it, but it's a really gorgeous color. And I didn't want to pick black, I knew this was going to be intense enough to smoke it out, so using an almost like a C motion on top, so darkening um, the corners on the outer corner, on the inner corner, and right above the lid, and leaving the lid open because we are going to highlight that with a gold color. It's going to get really, really pretty, and I love the dimension that I'm giving myself with these colors. There's so much you can do with colors, and you got so many colors in this palette, so it's awesome. So taking a flat brush and this really nice, beautiful gold color, I'm gonna tap that in the center of my eyes and that's gonna stand out the most. And even more so when we add um, our false lashes and our mascara and it's just, it's gonna come together, I promise. So taking more of that green, the dark green, and going back and reinforcing that line that we were building and blending it into the yellow so there's no lines and it just fades beautifully. Then I'm gonna take a black coal pencil and mark my waterline and also running over my bottom lashes just to make sure that the darkness is on the bottom as well. Then taking my pencil brush, dipping it into the original green and a little bit of that darker green and then going ahead and blending it into my lower lash line. Next, even out your skin tone. This is really important because of all the fallout and since you do have dark eyeshadow, you wanna make sure that you brighten up underneath your eyes. Now using my fingers, I am warming up the makeup. So warming up that concealer. There's tons of colors so you can mix and um, match your own shade because I know a lot of people have um, more yellow or more pink. It's just really, really easy um, to blend and make your own custom color. So patting that underneath my eyes as close to the lash line as possible without getting too, too close because you don't want to run over the makeup because we are going to blend that in with a brush in just a moment. Mm -hmm. 
Yay! My favorite part is mascara. I love mascara and lashes, so if you're not a lash girl, just double up on your mascara. Make sure that it's a thickening mascara, volumizing, and what have you, and I just, I love it. So I'll be putting any of the products that I use that are not in this kit, which are probably just like two things, in the description box down below if you are interested. Um, as well as a link to get the um, seven layer all-in-one masterpiece kit. So concealer is not only for underneath your eyes, you can use it all over your face for brightening, also contouring, it just depends on how you use it. I'm using a flat concealer brush underneath my eyebrows. As you can see, some of the little hairs are starting to come in, so I just added some of the concealer, then dusted that light pink eyeshadow on top of it to set it, and you guys can see when I back up a little bit how it kind of pops my eyes a lot more. Now I'm going to be adding my lashes. These are awesome. I've been using them every single day, girl. <laughs> Let me put in the information in the description box down below. Now using a flat top kabuki brush, I'm just going to be feathering out the concealer that I added onto my face and blending it into my concealer, making sure it go down my neck. Finishing off with some color to the lips and to your cheeks. I'm going to be using an angled brush, dipping it into the darkest color in the blush tray and hollowing out my cheeks. It's just going to give me a nice contoured, slimmer um, look to my face, adding color at the same time. Now of course I want more color, so I'm going to be using this really nice peachy orangey blush, tapping it on the back of my hand, controlling the pigmentation because it is pretty bright, and then patting it onto my face with really light strokes. Next, I'm going to be making my own lipstick color, and of course, it's going to be something similar to something that I wear all the time, and you guys probably know which one I'm trying to make. It's a really nice nudie pink color, and this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for requesting and watching and just sticking by me through everything. I really, really appreciate it, and hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Don't forget to check out the links in the description box down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!